Hey there everyone, my name is Edith and in today's video I'll be showing you how I get started with any sketch. Uh, so prior to doing any sketch, we first need to do this outline. Uh, so when I was doing this outline, I was not having the setup. So sorry for that, I'm not recording the video, but uh, in the upcoming sketch, I will be doing how I do the outline even. So after you have done the outline, the next step is you need to erase these lines because uh, the fact is not completely erase them, you need to make them lighten. And the reason is that uh, in a real world scenario, uh, you don't have uh, outlines or a boundary. Like whenever there is a change in the background in the hair, there is a gra there is a change, there is nothing called as a background, there, there is nothing outline. So, so first of all, to make hyperrealism sketches, you first need to, uh, you need to erase them or you need to lighten them just enough for your reference okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just gonna lightly erase all the lines so they look very light or just is enough for my reference okay so. As now you can see that I have erased all the dark outlines and uh, these lines are just used for the reference. Uh, so before that, uh, let me show you what the tools I'm using in today's video. So the first thing uh, I'm using right now, I'm using four pencils. Uh, this is H pencil, which is very light. Then we have a three H pencil. And then I have two B and then I have three B. Also, I have this mechanical pencil and this I'll be using if I find that yeah, the outlines are not correct or uh, I've not done the outlining properly in any section. For that, I use mechanical, pen uh, mechanical pencil because it's very uh, thin. And uh, then I use the blending stumps for blending. It's not that you need blending stumps, you can even create them or uh, you can use cotton bud or uh, generally don't try to use your fingers for blending because that's not the proper way of doing it and uh, you can just it's not that you need all the tools you can just get you can just get started with some basic tools also it's not so much necessary and uh, for sake i use the big eraser because uh, it's really hard for me the small ones are really hard for me to deal with so i use a big eraser uh, so yeah let's get started so before that let's me let me give you a little bit theory about sketching and uh, this uh, I have learned from experience and I would like to share with you all. Uh, the first thing is there are three types of surfaces. Okay, The first surface is that the surface which absorbs all the light. So whenever a surface absorbs all the lights, then this surface will be completely black, completely black. And if and the second type of surface is which partially absorbs the light and partially reflects it. So there is going to be a little bit of shade and little bit of light falling in. In it like for example the skin texture the skin of a person absorbs a little bit of light and reflects a little bit so it's going to have a very light blend means a mixture of a dark and a very light blend now coming to the third type of surface which completely reflects back the light or you can say it reflects most of the part of the light like generally the eye if you see uh, when we are doing sketches we leave a white portion that's basically what is that it's reflecting back a light so you need to be this so this are the three types of surface uh, so today I'm going to start with, uh, it's good to start with eyes, uh, uh, that's how you move gradually in a portrait. So for starting, I'm using the H pencil, as you can just see, this is a H pencil. Uh, yeah, so you can just get started with H pencil. There is one important thing more you need to understand is that whenever you're doing blending, so you need to blend in the direction in which the object is moving. Like for in the case of this eyebrow, this section, the eyebrows are moving in this direction generally. So what I'm going to do is my blending is going to be in that direction. Now coming to this part of eyebrow, the uh, direction of the hairs are generally this side, that is to the left. So I will blend my stumps to the left. Always try to remember that you need to blend in the direction of light or in the direction of which the object is moving. Uh, 
that's how you make the thing go realistic. So what I'm trying to do in here is that I'm generally uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to gradually change the shade that is uh, I'm doing H first then I will move in with the B then I will be doing 2B then I'll be doing 3B and so on. So like uh, the darker you need the more gradually you need to increase uh, the B grades or the H grades of the pencil. And uh, the second thing which you need to keep in your mind is that whenever you have completed with one layer always remember that there are some white highlight section so rub off those sections. Now since I'm done with all uh, the H layer of the pencil, I'll be shifting to the 3H. As you can see, it's a 3H pencil. It's a 3H pencil. So there is one very important thing which I need to tell you is that uh, prior to using any blend blending stamps, you need to make sure that the tip of the blending stamps are clean. So if it's uh, if it has previous shed, uh, then you can use a sandpaper and just rub your blending stamps on that, so that you can remove those old sheds and you can just work with the new one. Okay. So yeah, it's your general tip or you can say general hack you can do. So as uh, I'm now done with uh, the 3H uh, green, so now I'm shifting to the new green a little bit higher which is uh, the 2B. Uh, I'm not using B because uh, in uh, eye section we generally have some darker areas so we can just uh, do them using the 3B or uh, 2B. Sorry. Just a random uh, thing which uh, been asked by my followers a lot of time in Instagram and uh, that is how long I take to complete a sketch and the answer to this question is that uh, if you love something to do you don't really calculate how much time you take so that's what I do. As you can see, uh, since the light is coming in this direction, this direction, and uh, generally uh, this part of the eye is uh, basically, uh, you can say, uh, inside a surface. So there is going to be a black surface, so you can see a darker surface will be created here. So for that, I'll be using my again, a 3B pencil, uh, sorry, a 2B pencil for that, for the darker areas.
So yeah, there is one quick hack for you. If uh, there is some area in the sketch which you need to raise and it's uh, very minute, that is uh, the white surface area is very, 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 very thin. And then uh, if, and if you don't have a pencil eraser or a tom tom mono eraser, mono eraser, sorry, then what you can do is in the new eraser there is very sharp edges are there. You can use them, or if uh, you don't have a new eraser and uh, this uh, you have uh, the edges are blunt right now, then for that you can use uh, a knife. Or a scissor, uh, sorry, uh, you can use a knife basically uh, to cut that, and by cutting that, you will be again getting up sharp edges which you can use uh, for fine blending, uh, sorry, for fine uh, white highlights. So, I generally use this thing. You can see right now the tip is right now very clean compared to the, the older one. So now I will be using it for the fine blending areas like uh, the corners of the eye. These are very delicate parts, and if you don't really be accurate with the things, um, the ultimate work is not going to look hyper realism or you can say uh, a very perfect sketch. Now the next section is this uh, spectacles, uh, this uh, which the CEO of Google wear. you can notice that uh, the spectacle sections are uh, more darker it's uh, pure black but uh, i'm not using higher grade pencil right now because if you're using higher grade pencil right now then when you, when you will be doing the skin section and you will be uh, shading the skins there is a chance that you will be pick up, picking up uh, this uh, higher grade graphite from this section and you will be just making this situation uh, making this part of sketch very clumsy so that's how that's why i'm not using more darker grades right now but after once i complete uh, this section basically of the skin texture i'll be adding more details to these spectacles right now i'm just leaving it
so this is all about today's video i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching